Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a signature watermark in Lightroom. Here we go. <laughs> okay, they're getting a little more silly now. So some people like to dance, some people don't like to dance. <laughs> So, that wasn't even a dance. This, this tutorial has actually been requested by Mar Marius Kloss, so I hope I got your name correct. So to create a watermark in Lightroom, you can do it with just using text, like your name or your company name with a copyright and put over the top. I'll show you how to do that too. But sometimes you might want your signature over it or something a little bit more special or using a graphic. So, if you want to use a signature, first of all, sign a piece of paper. Take a photograph of it and email it to yourself. We are going to be using Photoshop for this stage. If you don't use Photoshop, at the end of this video, I will be showing you how to do it without Photoshop, is in just using a text-based watermark. So let's jump into Lightroom and let's have a look. So, here we are in Lightroom. We would want to add a watermark down here this section, probably a signature, nice and white, probably in color. So let's go over here to where's my Photoshop. Here we go. And I've already imported this image here. Now, I want to select my signature. To do that, I'm going to use the magic wand tool, set it around a 30 tolerance. I'm going to hit this and it's done it in just one click. Come down here and press the mask button and it get rid of everything else, leaving just my signature. Now to make it black or white in color, I'm going to go for color overlay and it's going to be black. Hit OK and I'm going to make sure that my um, uh, effects are turned on. So this is great. Now I also want to have my photos in color logo. So I already have this open. So I'm just going to drag and drop the logo into this project and then I'm going to resize it like so and then drop it in down here, like so, and then I'm gonna quickly move this into position. Now, I don't like my signature. It would look great doing it this way, but as I have a tablet, I'm gonna show people if you have a tablet how to do it. So got rid of that layer. I'm just gonna go Command Shift N, which brings up a new layer, and I'm gonna take the brush tool, opacity 100, and I'm gonna have my pressure sensitivity on there, make sure it's set to black with a small brush, and then literally, I'm going to sign that's terrible, so I'm going to do that again. Um, this is my signature-ish. And uh, I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to stick it down here. So this now kind of works as my signature. But as I said, I want it a white, because white seems to work on most images that I think. But you can do it for black. So I'm going to double click this, and I'm going to hit color overlay, and I'm going to just change it to white, like so. And then my logo, I also do want to add on that into this down here, make this white as well. So I know that if I come in here, I've got In Color Studios, okay, which is my text. Double click on this, okay, because uh, I want to add an effect to this. Color overlay, white, that's all good. So now export, this is what is important. It must export with transparency. So Command Option Shift Save S will bring up this export module. Make sure you have PNG 24 selected, okay, and transparency is there. So now we can see that it's still transparent, but we can see our image. So I'm going to make the width uh, 1000. I'm never going to need it bigger than that, unless I want the watermark to cover the whole image. I don't. I want it in the corner. And I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to save it on my desktop, like so. So I can always find it, but I would usually do it in another folder. So here we are inside Lightroom. Now, to add it inside Lightroom and maybe to all of these images, all I would have to do, so let's do say three images so that you can see it happen across them all. You hit export down here. If you don't know what all the export settings are, then watch my video on exporting. I'll link to it somewhere here. Um, but what I want to do is go to watermark here and we're going to edit watermarks to create a new one. Now, as I said, if you don't have Photoshop, you just have to have text selected here, and then you type in whatever you want it to be. So for example, photos in color. But I want to use this graphic, and you see it's going to be at the bottom here. But if I select graphic 
And then I was to select the graphic, which is this one, which was on my desktop, hit choose. Now it's gonna add in the graphic. Now scrolling down will give me some options. I want it to be in the bottom right hand side and I want it to take up 15% of the image. So if the image is smaller, then my signature will also shrink and that's what's important. And then you, I actually want to, yeah, I don't want it to be at zero because it might push it against the edge. I want to bring it in a little tiny bit there. So set that to at two, so that brings it in from the side a little bit. Uh, that looks great, hit save, and I'm gonna call this P-I-C um, white sig niture, like so. And I'm gonna hit create. Great, and then I'm gonna hit export, and I want this to go to my desktop. Now, let's have a look at it here. It's gonna take a minute to export. There we go, my files have now been exported, and if I come over to my desktop, okay, and I look at my images, one, two, and three, you can see that down in the corner here, they're all scaled. Although these images are actually slightly different sizes, the watermark is scaled to fit in every single one and looks fantastic. So that's how you add a graphic watermark to your photos using Lightroom. Now, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any ideas for any future tutorials like Marius Kloss did for this tutorial, then just write it in the comments below or maybe send me a message on the Facebook Photos in Color community page. Anyway, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I think I already said that, so let's just end the video. End logo music thing. <laughs>